Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games, buying for this game is $200. The raise King Jack suited, get called. Um, can go either way here, we're gonna go for bet. See a call, seven turn, this is kind of interesting turn cards. We do pick up the flush draw. And his jam loss is so gross, we probably have to fold actually. 5x jam, yeah, we probably just have to fold, but really annoying here. Oh, this is so sad. I don't think they're going to be bluffing here. Yeah, we're just going to fold. So we have a hijack open, three betting ace jack, so to get called. Uh, jack nine eight. Uh, I think we're going to be betting here. If we were a bit shallower, we would probably do some checking back, or a bit deeper, sorry. Um, but here we'll bet big. Call, good turn card. And I think on this board, we still just want to jam the turn. So that's what we're going to go for here. And just see the fold. All right, opening's king here. Get called. We're going to flop top, top. Start with the bet. See a five on the turn. We'll be over betting turn here. And then a four river. Uh, once we over bet turn, river's kind of close. I shouldn't have much 3x here. It's probably between jam and check. Too thin to rip ace king here. I think we're going to. This is maybe too thin. Again, I don't think the three is super relevant once we over bet turn, unless they have ace three. I guess like king three suit. This might be too thin because we have to be getting called by like the worst hands in order to make this profitable. So. Well, we do get called Ace Seven and Ace King getting paid. Lovely. So we three bet and get called. Lots of money in here. We get a great flop. Uh, I'm gonna start small. Given the SPR, normally we'd probably use half if we're betting here. Or on the turn. Leads into us, and we'll just put in the rest. Just folds. All right, we take it down with ace jack. Like I said, I think anything there, we either jam or fold. A little that's behind. Um, going down here, we three bet pre flop against crazy times get called. Flop a gutter with some overs and backdoor clubs. Um, interesting turn card here. I think I want to check call or bet small. I think we're going to bet small here. And then unfortunately don't improve. And I don't think we're going to want to run this bluff. I mean, to be fair, I guess it is the best one with a queen. It's not good to have clubs, though. Um, I actually changed my mind. I am going to bluff jam this one. If we're going to bluff, we want to have a queen. I know clubs isn't great, but this really puts them in a tough spot with anything that's not a 10. And like I said, if we're going to find bluffs, the best time to pick one's going to be with a queen. So go for the jam. But once we get to this point, I do think I like jam. Uh, eventually get called by a set. Good call. Try running the bluff. Doesn't work out. Alright, bet flop. We're going to bet turn here. So we're bluffing now with the open ender. So this is open, or we three bet pre get called. Bet the flop for half. Bet the turn. See a call. Five river. Um, is this one that we're going to run the bluff on? I think we're going to. Not loving it, but we do block the straight. Unblock hearts missing. Could be bluffing with the best hand against hearts, but I think we're just going to bluff jam this one. See the fold, take it down. Under the limp, cut off raise, three betting tens from the big blind. As the limper goes call. Interesting. So we go heads up with them. 987, very interesting board. So we got the open ender with the club to the straight flush. They raise this is actually a really weird spot. Um, I think we maybe just go with this. We flat, there's like, I mean, it's a bit big of a jam, but I think we're just going to here. I mean, we're in a nightmare if they have like jacks or queens that limp called. So, yeah, I'm just going to jam. I don't know what to do here, to be honest. But they have eight, so we have 49% against a set. Now we bink the straight flush on the turn, so if we're going to hit the straight flush on the turn, I recommend getting it in. 
But like that's the situation there. So like they flopped the set and we're still like 50%. So it can't be that bad just to get it in. The nightmare scenarios if they limp called like aces through jacks and have a club. That's really bad, but you know. We just get it in there and uh we get there. Uh check call flop here, get a pretty interesting turn. So we see an overcard, but we do pick up the flush draw. And then bank the river. Check raise. I think we're going to. Go for the check raise. Alright, six to the plan. Second nuts here. Also feel pretty good that they're gonna barrel the king like the king high flush draws quite often here on the turn, so. Go for the raise. Calls, jack six suited, getting paid, lovely. Good versus ace four, so they were two pair. Here we open ace three suited, couple calls. We're gonna bet here, so it was a limp we raise. Flop bottom pair, top kicker with ace high flush draw. Goes for raise, pretty small. Um, I think we're just going to call in position. Min raise there, seven turn. And on the turn, they pot it. We don't love it, but I think you get to call, and we call down any ace three or heart river. And unfortunately, brick out. Don't think we're going to bluff river if they check either, so. Maybe they just show jack ten hearts for me one time, but they jam. We'll fold. Um, so, again, a little over 100 blinds here, and we're getting it in. If they jam, ace king at nines. Flop top pair, good start. Oh, bad river. Obviously, a flip we get it in, but that's just a torturous way to lose. So, we do three bet get called here. Nine, eight, four. Go for half pot, checking okay as well. And then king on the turn, batting turn. East river, river top two, heart smith, which is great too. To be fair, it's been hard to have a lot of calling hands. We have to hope they have like an ace nine suited, ace eight suit that may be called here, but we are gonna be jamming. Ace X of hearts, that could be a thing too. Ace X of diamonds. And eventually get called ace ten of hearts. So yeah, ace X of hearts, exactly kind of what we're hoping for there. Ace king good. So raise these ten of spades, get two calls, nine six three. Uh leads into us just uh they're shorter, so I think we raise against deeper, we would just call. And then bink the flush here. And I think we'll check the turn. Seven river. Jam call. Ace 10, good versus jack six. Wow, so they turn trips. Perfect. Ace 10 getting paid. Uh, open nines here against the limper. Get call. We flop middle set. Ace nine three. Call. Ace in the turn. Beautiful turn card. Uh, given their stack size, we're going to be setting up two jam rivers here. And I don't think if they have an ace here, I don't think they're gonna fold. So actually could be a really good, really, really good turn card. So we pop the turn here, they raise. Um, let's see here. I, if they have an ace, I don't think they're gonna fold any river anyway. So we're just gonna flat, not give them a chance to make some absurd fold. Jack river. And if they have heart draws, that's the only bad thing then. Because now they can check and give up instead of just getting it in, because if they bet, they would have. But side is to fly here. They jam, obviously, call. Nine's an ace six, and we're good. Things are good. Armac, right, I don't know if you heard, but I, I did get a free seat to the 25K in the Bahamas, the PSPC event. So I'm going to be going there in about a week, flying out eight days. So I played a little bit of tournaments recently, which I know you enjoy the tournament streams, so. Catching a little fortune. Uh, we're going to check the turn here. So three bet pre get called. Probably calling this one down if there's a non diamond, but not like loving life. A diamond I might be able to get away from here. I think I maybe can. So yeah, some of the floats. So we don't think they're bluffing enough. I like I said, I think diamond will fold, but this is the I'll call the other suits here. 
This is a pretty tight fold, but I think we can. Obviously, there's the Queen Axe, Backdoor Diamonds comes in. Yeah, we'll let go of the Ace-10 there. Pretty tight. All right, YouTube, that's the end of another cash game video. So we do wrap up another win here today. So at 2-5, 287 hands, minus 330. In the 1-2 game, 1,810 hands, plus 565. At total profit, plus 235. Uh, feels good to get another smaller win today. Again, just trying to build closer and closer back to break even on the year. So hope you enjoyed today's video and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.